The Apostle John was one of Jesus' followers who was known affectionately or not so affectionately as a son of thunder. That probably meant that he was blunt. Ironically, he's also known as the Apostle of Love. But in the second chapter of 1 John, he bluntly points out something that should be obvious to everybody. He said, if you claim to live in Christ, you got to live like Christ did. And then a few verses later, he says, if you don't love God's people, you can't say you're living in the light. For the true follower of Jesus Christ, there's this strong connection between your teaching and your behavior. Easy enough to understand, right? Uh, yet many elders, pastors, ministers of big and small churches abuse their members. If I had a dollar for every story I've heard about church leaders who've hurt people, I'd be a wealthy man. If a person who claims to be a Christian treats people with contempt or with little care about their welfare, you can bet one thing, they're not walking in light. Attending church services or being in church leadership doesn't make a person a follower of Christ. I know many church attenders who have abused their spouses, beaten their kids, and harmed the innocent. They're church attenders, not followers of Christ. But on the other side of this, though, is that no disciple of Christ is without character issues. The difference between the former and the latter is the heart, the intent, the direction of a person's life. A person saved by grace could never willfully and habitually treat people with indifference or hate, no matter who they are. When Christ saves people, He saves them from the hate in their own hearts, and He replaces it with the love that is in His own.